Hi, this is Kerry. This is my second compilation of favorite shark, whale, fish, and sea creature videos. Please enjoy. Hi, it's Kerry here. Today we are looking at some really interesting sea creatures, including the clownfish, blue spotted stingray, starfish, zebra shark, horseshoe crab, queen triggerfish, and ammonite. That's my favorite. I'm saving it for last. Jellyfish, octopus, orca or killer whale, nurse shark, and sawfish. Give a thumbs up if you like sea creatures. The queen triggerfish lives in coral reefs. It will uncover buried prey by blowing water out of its mouth towards the sand where the creature is buried. Its strong jaws and large strong teeth make it easy to bite through the hard body parts of marine creatures. The queen triggerfish is an amazing looking fish with its beautiful colouring and blue highlights on the face and fins and dark lines radiating out from the eyes. The triggerfish eyes can move independently of each other. The octopus. It has a massive rounded head, large eyes and eight arms. It is able to camouflage itself with its surroundings. Predators such as sharks, eels and dolphins swim by without even noticing it. When discovered, an octopus will release a cloud of black ink to make its escape. They move forward by expelling water through their mantles. They are able to squeeze into small cracks and crevices to escape predators. They are able to regrow a lost arm. They also have beak-like jaws that can deliver a nasty bite. They eat crabs, crayfish and mollusks. The zebra shark is also known as the leopard shark. This shark actually changes in appearance over its lifetime. Juveniles have stripes on their skin, that's why they're called zebra sharks, but as they become adults, their skin becomes more spotted and they're known as leopard sharks. They live on the ocean floor and are referred to as carpet fish. Zebra sharks prefer shallow water with good places to hide and rest. The nurse shark lives in coral and rocky reefs. They have rounded heads and barbels that they use to search for prey and very small eyes. They are able to remain perfectly still and rest in caves or under ledges often with others. They feed at night on fish, rays and invertebrates. They are suction feeders and can generate enough pressure to suck a queen conch right out of its shell and swallow their prey whole. Starfish belong to a large group of marine animals called echinoderms. Starfish are usually found in the shallow water of any world ocean. They are not related to fish. I usually call them sea stars. Sea stars can regenerate missing parts of their body. If a predator eats part of the starfish, it will eventually grow back. The body is covered with a bony skeleton which often contains different kinds of spikes and thorns for protection. The orca or killer whale are powerful predators. They prey on marine mammals such as seals, sea lions, whales, fish, squid and even seabirds. Their teeth can grow to 4 inches or 10 centimetres long. Killer whales hunting groups called pods. 
they work together to target prey and are able to communicate using various sounds. Orcas are the largest of the dolphins and are easy to recognize by their distinctive black and white coloring. Orcas have long rounded bodies with large dorsal fins at the middle of their backs. Their black bodies are marked with white patches on the underside and around near the eyes. The blue spotted stingray has beautiful iridescent blue spots on the top part of its body. The spots are a warning sign to other creatures, warning that it is poisonous. Its yellowish green colour helps camouflage it from above and its pale underside helps camouflage it from below. Its yellow eyes have an excellent field of vision. The holes above the eyes are spiracles for breathing. The snout is rounded and the mouth and gills are on the underside of the body. The mouth has two plates that can crush crab shells, prawns and mollusks. The horseshoe crab is also known as the king crab. It is a hard-shelled invertebrate found on the seafloor in warmer, shallow coastal waters. The horseshoe crab has a hard outer shell, five pairs of legs and a long thin tail which it uses for changing direction when swimming. It is actually not a crab and is more closely related to spiders and scorpions. Horseshoe crabs only eat meat, including sea worms, small mollusks and crustaceans. Clownfish are found in warm waters, especially the Great Barrier Reef of Australia. It coexists with the sea anemone, which has poisonous tentacles. The clownfish keeps the anemone clean, and then it is also protected from predators by the poisonous tentacles. The clownfish is protected from the lethal sting with a layer of mucus on the clownfish's skin. Sawfish are quite different to saw sharks. Their gills are on the underside of the body, like a ray. Sawfish are closely related to sharks. They have a long snout with a serrated edge, which can be used in a saw-like action to cut through prey, or used as a digging tool. The saw-like snout is called a rostrum, and it can also detect if prey is close by. This super sense is common to sharks and rays. Sawfish live in shallow coastal waters and even swim into freshwater river systems. Sawfish can replace any worn or lost teeth. Jellyfish use their tentacles to sting. Most are harmless to humans, but stings from the transparent box jellyfish can be very painful and sometimes even kill. They are shaped like an umbrella and can be brightly coloured or translucent while others are transparent. Jellyfish eat plankton and some sea turtles eat jellyfish. Jellyfish live in the sea, although some live in fresh water. They are not fish. The Ammonite first appeared about 240 million years ago. They went extinct with the dinosaurs about 65 million years ago. This cephalopod was a predatory squid-like creature that lived inside a coil-shaped shell. It had sharp beak-like jaws inside a ring of tentacles that came out from the shell to trap prey such as small fish and crustaceans. The largest ammonites grew to more than three feet or one meter across. Possible snack food for the giant mosasaur, Tylosaurus. They scooted through the warm shallow seas by squirting jets of water from their bodies. Thank you for watching my video, please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon.
please remember to share, subscribe and like. Thank you. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture. Hi, it's Kerry here. Today we are looking at a leopard shark, a guitar fish, loggerhead turtle, cow nosed ray, a giant squid, a sea lion, a clown trigger fish, a bowmouth whale, a giant pacific octopus, a moray eel, a seahorse, and a tiger shark. Give a thumbs up if you like sea creatures. The giant pacific octopus grows bigger and lives longer than any other octopus species. The largest one found was 30 feet or 9.1 meters across and weighed more than 600 pounds or 272 kilograms. That's a whopper. The average size is about 16 feet or 5 meters and 110 pounds which is 50 kilograms. Giant Pacific octopuses have huge bulbous heads and are generally reddish brown in color. They are able to change their skin color and textures to blend in with plants, coral and rocks. They hunt at night. They like to eat shrimp, clams, lobsters, fish and have been known to attack and eat sharks as well as birds using their sharp beak like mouths to puncture and tear flesh. The Tiger Shark they are common in tropical and subtropical waters throughout the world. They can grow up to 25 feet or 7.5 meters long and weigh up to a ton. They are second only to great whites in attacking people and will also scavenge. These large blunt nosed sharks have excellent eyesight and smell. Their powerful jaws have sharp highly serrated teeth that can even crack the shells of sea turtles and clams. Their diet includes stingrays, sea snakes, seals, birds, squid and even license plates and old tyres. Tiger sharks get their name from their dark vertical stripes found mainly on younger sharks which fade as they mature. The moray eel lives in holes and crevices amongst the rocks and coral on the ocean floor where it can also ambush prey. It is found in warm and temperate waters all around the world. Even though it looks snake-like it is a fish, not a reptile. They have an elongated body, slightly flattened towards the tail. Moray eels also have large eyes and mouths which contain large teeth. They like to eat fish, squid, cuttlefish and crabs. Moray eels are found in both deep and shallow waters in tropical and subtropical regions. The clown trigger fish lives in the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. It has very strong jaws and broad teeth for crunching through hard-shelled invertebrates like sea urchins, crustaceans and mollusks. With its bright colours, it looks like it is wearing clown makeup. Triggerfish are named after the spines situated on their backs. Few species are known to eat clown triggerfish. Clown triggerfish are territorial and males defend their territory. Once the females arrive, the males actively court them and the female gets to choose a male. The cow nose ray. They are related to sharks and skates. They get their name from their forehead, which looks like a cow's nose. They are brown to olive coloured on top and pale underneath. They grow to between 2 and 3 feet which is 60 to 90 centimetres. They have an excellent sense of smell and touch as well as electroreceptors on their snouts to help locate their prey. To find prey they stir up the bottom with their wingtips or noses. They can also suck water and sand into their mouths and blow it out through their gills or flap their wings rapidly to uncover prey in the sand. They eat shellfish, lobster, crabs and fish. They have been seen jumping clear out of the water and landing on their bellies making loud smacking sounds. The loggerhead turtle is named for its exceptionally large head that has heavy strong jaws. The heart shaped carapace or shell is bony without ridges and has large non overlapping rough scutes or scales. 
the top is reddish brown in colour and it has a yellowish brown plastron or breastplate. Front flippers are short and thick with two claws while the rear flippers can have two or three claws. They like to live in coastal habitats and estuaries of all the world's oceans. The bowhead whale belongs to the group of baleen whales. It is also known as the Greenland right whale. They are found in the cold waters of the Arctic Sea in the northern hemisphere. Bowhead whales have bluish black skin with white patches on the jaw, belly and tail. It does not have a dorsal fin. The jaw is arched and it looks like a bow. Its mouth has baleen plates which filters the zooplankton and small fish from the seawater. The bowhead whale has a one and a half foot or 45 centimeter thick layer of blubber that protects it from freezing in the cold Arctic waters. There are two blowholes on the top of the head. Their main predator is the killer whale. They can stay 40 minutes under the water without returning to the surface to breathe. The leopard shark is small and harmless to humans. They mainly eat invertebrates found on the bottom of the ocean, including crabs, shrimps, clams, octopus, fish rays and small sharks. They are easily identified by the distinct they are easily identified by the distinctive dark spots and saddle type markings. It has a short round snout and large dorsal fins. They grow to about 5 feet long weighing up to about 40 pounds. The Tiger Shark. They are common in tropical and subtropical waters throughout the world. The Tiger Shark is common in tropical and subtropical waters throughout the world. Sea lions are marine mammals that have external ear flaps, long fore flippers and short thick hair. They can actually walk on all four flippers. They are very social animals and can communicate with each other. Sea lions can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes, swim up to 22 miles per hour and dive up to a thousand feet deep. They are often found in extremely large colonies for their protection they will stay very close together on land and in the water. Sea lions really only have two predators, killer whales and sharks. The guitarfish shark ray is also known as the mudscape and bowmouth guitarfish. They are found in the tropical coastal waters of the western Indo-Pacific Ocean. It feeds on the seafloor and eats fish, crustaceans and mollusks. The shark ray has a wide and thick body with a rounded snout and large shark-like dorsal and tail fins. Notice the wavy mouth line. It has bony ridges over its head and back. The skin is a bluish grey colour with white spots. This is my favourite. The giant squid is a bit of a mystery. They live in very deep and cold water which is not easily accessible to scientists and divers. Like other squid, it is able to release ink which hides it so it can make its escape. Giant squid have large eyes measuring 10 inches or 25 centimeters across. Their large eyes are used to help them see in the gloomy depths they inhabit. They have eight arms and two longer feeding tentacles that help them bring food up to their beak-like mouths. The tentacles have four rows of suction cups with hooks to help catch prey. 
they like to eat fish, shrimp and even other squid. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Please remember to share, subscribe and like. Thank you. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture. Hi, it's Kerry here. Let's take a look at these 11 sea creatures. Today's video has a fun ending. Give a thumbs up if you like sharks and whales. The dolphin. Dolphins are very intelligent. They are often seen playing in the water and even jumping out of the water. They can ride waves, play fight and even occasionally swim with humans. Dolphins use a blowhole on top of their heads to breathe. They can communicate with each other by clicking, whistling and other sounds. Dolphins live in schools or pods of up to 12 individuals. Lobsters are ten-legged creatures, just like shrimps and crabs, their closest relatives. The lobster molts its shell each year to grow a new larger one. The shell cannot expand in size as the lobster grows. Lobsters without shells are easy prey and they usually hide until the new shell grows. Sounds like a good idea to me. The Great White Shark. Great White Shark encounters are rare, but attacks are serious when they happen and have led to deaths. Great Whites attack by propelling themselves at their prey with great speed. They take a single massive bite and drag their victims down into deeper water. Then they let go of their victim and it just bleeds to death before being gobbled up. Squid have a soft body. As a squid moves through the water, they stretch in the mantle area. This forces water through the funnel section. They are very quick as well as agile in the water. When a squid feels that they are in danger, they release a dark ink cloud as they try to make their rapid escape. A squid has gills which it uses to breathe through. It doesn't need to surface for air. The octopus has a massive rounded head, large eyes and eight arms. It is able to camouflage itself with its surroundings. Predators like sharks, eels and dolphins swim by without even noticing it. When, dis when discovered, an octopus will release a cloud of black ink to make its escape. They move forward by expelling water through their mantles. They are able to squeeze into small cracks and crevices to escape predators. They are able to regrow a lost arm. They also have beak-like jaws that can deliver a nasty bite. The orca or killer whale. 
is one of the world's most powerful predators. They prey on marine mammals such as seals, sea lions, whales, fish, squid and even seabirds. Their teeth can grow to 4 inches or 10 centimetres long. Killer whales hunt in groups called pods. They work together to target prey and are able to communicate using various sounds. Orcas are the largest of the dolphins and are easy to recognise by their distinctive black and white colouring. Orcas have long rounded bodies with large dorsal fins at the middle of their backs. Their black bodies are marked with white patches on the underside and near the eyes. Spotted seals are found in the North Pacific Ocean, ranging from Alaska to Japan in Arctic or subarctic waters. They have silver to light grey fur with dark spots. Pups are born with a white coat but molt to the adult colours after three or four months. Adults eat variety of fish including herring, arctic cod and pollock. Juveniles will feed on krill and small crustaceans. The walrus. Walruses are bigger than most seals and both males and females develop tusks. The tusks are actually long, sharp teeth that can grow to three feet long. Walruses use them like an ice pick to help pull their bodies out of the water onto the ice. Sometimes they use them to catch prey or to poke air holes into the ice. Walruses live in cold Arctic areas and have a thick layer of blubber to keep them warm. Crabs are also known as decapods because they have 10 legs. The first pair of legs are modified into claws, called chile. Crabs walk and swim sideways. The exoskeleton is a shell or carapace. Crabs have eyes on stalks, just like snails. Blue whale. Blue whales are the largest animals to have lived on earth. They feed on tiny shrimp like animals called krill. During certain times of the year a single adult blue whale consumes about four tons of krill a day. They have fringe plates called baleen attached to their upper jaws. These act as a type of sieve. The blue whale swallows water and then forces it out trapping the krill and then swallowing it. Their skin is a mottled blue-grey colour. It has a broad, flat head and a long tapered body that ends in wide triangular tail fins. The blue spotted stingray has beautiful iridescent blue spots on the top part of its body. The spots are a warning sign to other sea creatures, warning that it is poisonous. Its yellowish green colour helps camouflage it from above and its pale underside helps camouflage it from below. It can grow up to 28 inches long including the blue striped tail which has one or two venomous spines. One or two venomous spines. Its yellow eyes have an excellent field of vision 
The holes above the eyes are spiracles for breathing. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Remember to stay for the fun ending. Please remember to subscribe, share and like. Thank you. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture. Hi, it's Kerry here. Today we are looking at some amazing sea creatures. A puffer fish, hermit crab, sperm whale, squirt from Nemo and Megalodon. Give a thumbs up if you like sea creatures. Puffer fish are also known as blowfish. When a predator is after them, they suck in a lot of water and air into their elastic stomachs and become several times their normal size, so they won't fit into the predator's mouth. Some species like this one have protective spines on their skin. There is enough toxin in one puffer fish to kill 30 adult humans, and there is no known antidote. They are a scaleless fish and usually have rough to spiky skin. All have four teeth that are fused together in a beak-like form. They are found in tropical and subtropical ocean waters, but some species live in brackish and even fresh water. How many divers in today's video? The hermit crab is a small sized crustacean that is mainly found in coastal waters where there is more food and places to hide. The hermit crab has a soft underbody which it protects by carrying a shell on its back. Its shell belongs to another animal. As hermit crabs grow they continue to find larger shells to live in. Hermit crabs are omnivores and eat pretty much anything they can find in the surrounding water. The sperm whale is the world's largest toothed whale and unlike the baleen whales, sperm whales are active predators eating large squid, large bony fish and sharks. Their teeth are conical shaped for catching prey. They have a large brain and the most powerful sonar which they use to help find prey in the dark deep seas. This causes them to have a block shaped head making them very easy to recognise. They are able to dive to 1,000 metres and stay down for up to two hours. They live in very deep water. Sperm whales give birth to only one calf at a time. The mothers form a nursery at the surface to look after each other's calves, while the mothers take turns to dive deep for food. Squirt is the son of Crush. He is seen playing hide and seek with Dory and he then listens to Marlon's story of how he lost Nemo. He then gives Marlon and Dory instructions about the current they were riding. He attends school with Nemo at the end of the film as an exchange student. Squirt acts and talks just like his dad.
Dunkelosteus was a large placoderm. It was a heavily armoured fish. It could grow to 10 metres or 33 feet long and had large scissor-like cutting jaws with serrated razor-sharp bones, but no teeth. Its skull was over 2 feet long and it had a jointed neck, an eel-like tail, no scales but a type of armour made of hinged body shields. That is one scary jaw. Megalodon is a prehistoric monster shark that first appeared about 20 million years ago. It is the largest prehistoric shark to have existed and one of the most powerful predators on earth. Its teeth grew up to 7 inches or 16 centimeters long and it would have fed on large prehistoric whales. As teeth are lost, broken or worn down, they are replaced by new teeth. Megalodon may have had hundreds of teeth at one time. They did not chew their food like we do, but swallowed it down whole in very large chunks. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Please subscribe, share and like. Thank you. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture.